Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shane the Terminator, and we are back for another GTA 5 mission. Today we're going to play the Los Santos Connection. Now, starting off, I said in my last video that this was technically the highest paying mission, and I will show you how. There is a catch, but I will explain that in the end. So, setting the difficulty to hard, and get your weapons and armor equipped. We'll need your armor. So once you're ready to rock and roll, just go. This mission is doable by yourself, and I will do it without the helicopter. You may be playing with the higher ranking players, and they'll call on a helicopter straight away, but I'll do it the way that they intended the mission to be done, I guess, uh, with cars and driving around. And anyway, you have to do it this way, otherwise it just gets messy with the helicopter. So we start off in this car park somewhere, close enough to it, and I have the Porsche, and I regretted it because I span around a lot, but whatever. So we just drive over here, and we attack drug deal in plain sight, and I don't know, gangsters in GTA are just more badass, it's like, you know, who cares, it's not the middle of the night. So get out, just act all casual. Headshots. Straight away. Go for headshots straight away. Kill these guys as fast as possible so you're ready for the next wave of the guys rolling up with the jeeps. Because of you. And now, the key. Break this box and you'll get a thousand dollars just for doing that. So, as you can see up on the top right where my money is, I'm keeping track of how much money I've, I've earned through this mission. So you can ignore the twenty dollars I'm picking up from the randoms. That doesn't really count. So yeah, a lot of people in this mission they get in that truck and then they think they can't just get out. And no, just get in, get out, get back in your Porsche, your how your what is it, the Adder, Bugatti, same thing, whatever. Just get back in your personal car. You don't need to bring it. This I see people like try struggling when the tires are shot out. I'm like, dudes, you could have brought your own car. I'm like, no, 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 no. But anyway, fail. You now the depot. At this point, most people, if they were higher up, they would have already called the helicopters and are just going to go get them. But as I said, I am going to do that. Halfway through the mission, I was like, I wish I had it. But no, stay true. So at this point, if your armor is low, use there's a ammunition. That's what it's called. Just back there to the one on the right turns, I don't know which one. But I mean, like if you're a lower player, you're not going to have much armor, so it might be advisable to keep getting it every time you pass one. Yeah, this is... I hate getting up here. Any Everybody who's done this mission knows it's a free and annoying taking the shortcuts up the hill, because it's got the pipes, and the guardrails, and the trees, and the posts. But anyway, now for this part, you don't want to come in from the left. Okay, there's about seven or eight people on that side, there's only four on this side. Which way are you going to go? Path of least resistance. So you're going to take these guys out. One, two, three, if that's three now. That that aim though, just, you know, fire at the pole. And I know this video is actually quite long, but I wanted to show the entire mission as I did Rooftop Rumble. But this is just an exception. This is just an exceptionally long mission. So yeah, you just roll up and sneak on the, up on them from behind, and you take them all out one by one by one. And the key part is before you even attempt to hack that laptop, make sure all the enemies stop spawning. You know, if you're by yourself, there's no point killing all these guys and then going hacking. You're just gonna get yourself killed. Obviously, so. That's why you're here, because you don't want to get killed in missions anymore. Yeah, these guys are going to start spawning in the back, but they're easily dealt with. They don't tend to spawn in the back, or maybe just one or two waves at a piece. So once they're taken care of, you just got to wait for the jeeps to roll in, and you have to pick, pick them off one by one by one. Miss. Headshot. Um... Yeah. Oh, and there's, uh, there's health in the container to my right, 
behind me to my right. Yeah, there's a health pack. But I mean, I obviously at this point don't need it. I probably will. But I think I do pick it up. So I'm just, you know, picking them off one by one. The key thing is, though, to keep them as far away from you as possible. Especially if there's a guy hacking the laptop. Because if he dies, like, you're, you're not stuck with just the him stuck on the laptop, but it's just, gets, it gets it over with. Yeah, boom. So I think that's it. That's all the enemies that will spawn there. They're not spawning anymore, so I've got to hack the laptop. And you can see, yeah, now I'm, you don't have to do it with the pistol, but I just save my money. So I'm now up to two grand, or 2100, with packages and random picked up money. So that's good. We're already already competing for top spot with Doof Drop Rumble now. So, hacking is hacking. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it isn't. I, I say I'm alright with it, but. Now, now, I'm actually trying to go very fast. So, this. Yeah, see, I fail. Because I was. I seen the time where I was coming up to six minutes, but. You can do it that fast or take it as slow as you want, you know? People always. Like, I tend to, um get annoyed when people take their time but some people take way too much time a minute is too much so you get that sorted and don't even bother killing the other guys that just spawned in just, just drive just drive better not better not to bring a Porsche you know it's it's a good car straight in the straight line but once it turns you know you're just hoping for the best Can I call it the Porsche the Comet? I'm gonna call it the Porsche. Because that's what it really is. It really is both, but who cares? I prefer it to fail. My bad guys. Fucking friends. <laughs> God damn it. So we 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 what are we doing again? Yeah, we're going to the hangar. And this is where the mission gets bit better I guess. This is where it actually starts to become really fun. The other parts were boring, you know, driving around. This is the end, you're in the hangar, blowing up a lot of stuff. So just, the key thing with this is to just don't bother stopping and killing the guys. Look at this, look at this, ah oh, yeah. Just keep the, keep the momentum going. If you ever crash, turn into the spin. If you're spinning. If you're not, well, TS. So, yeah, just take my advice. Hit everything along the way. Yeah, just, just crash into every little pole and sign. No, don't. Don't fucking do that. Perfect. Stay on the road. So, man, if I had my Jetster, we'd be there right now. But, you know, I thought the Porsche needed luck today. See, again, keep the momentum. Turn into this kid. See, I'm just, I don't know what I was doing, but I'm just hitting every car, and every truck, and every post. Slick dodge for that, but... Right, now we're getting, now we're getting into the airport. Now, a lot, I've been, I've played this mission so many times that I saw a lot of people still don't really know how to get into the airport. They'll take that ramp to the right, and screw it up. I'll go for the left, ramp on the left, and the gate, I know there's a gate there to the right, I've always preferred this way. So down, I mean, it's just ping, you're through, speed up again. But that's just my opinion. And where am I going? I should be going the other way. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I should have. I think I do. I think I changed my mind after I get a couple kills here because there's a plane on the other end of the runway and what I do is I destroy it before I even get here but for some reason I decided to do it in reverse because once it takes off it's freaking hard to catch up unless you got guys in helicopters but as you can see I am not in a helicopter and I will only be using it the helicopters at the end to fly away to Madrasa's house and oh getting shot getting shot and there's no real easy way to come into this hangar. And the enemies are just random. You'll see here that, okay, I do die. You know, I'm not friggin' invincible. But 
You see here, I'll, I'll just be all like, stealthy and get the light machine gun out, longer range. Yeah, you know, the light, light machine gun has longer range than these all rifles, you didn't know. Yeah, so I'll die. But this time when I come around the corner, they're... My god, my friends again, seriously. Piss off for a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and I'm actually... I don't... Not to toot my own horn here, but I don't t typically die... But I'm always in the helicopter, so I, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. But then I cap on, cap, cop on. That is this way. Funny enough, where my car is. So I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, I remember now, yeah. I don't destroy the crew vehicles and then I just drive down, then I fly down with the helicopter. So I see here, look at this. Same corner, same enemies, yet I'm just walking in. It's just, it's just bad luck the last time. So I'm just mowing them down. And the, the guy up in the top right, he is sniping me. And I, it's aiming onto him, but he's always taking cover. And I've, I hit him a couple of times, but it doesn't, it doesn't put him down. So, and I only die again. And, th and it's it. If I die here, then I'm doing the mission again, but... Away from my health, and I, I don't know if I eat anything. I think I just chance my luck and don't eat. Because if you, you see, look, I take, I took his, his arm off, kind of, but um, it doesn't kill him. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just sort of like giving up on him at this point. I'm just like, he's, he's either gonna stick his head out or not. But anyway, the four boxes in front of me. You gotta smash all of those. You get three grand. I think it's three, three bags of money per box or something here. Maybe no, it's five grand. Here. Yeah, sorry, it's five grand here. So that's seven thousand dollars extra. Now, mission itself is paying fifteen hundred, fifteen thousand. Yes. So now we're getting twenty-three thousand. Okay, that's well more than we got wrong with. And for a mission that is this hard and this long, it's deserving. I'm still trying. So I, I think I'm eventually just going to give up. Because he's not shooting at me. So, eventually. Come on, give up. <laughs> Telling myself to give up, but he won't. He's just defiant. Come on, come on, come on. Just... I, oh. Yeah, now I've given up. Breaking the boxes. So, see? Money, money, money. So, but if you... If you have a helicopter, and if you fire and destroy the things, it'll destroy the money. So don't think once you destroy everything, you can come back for the money. It doesn't work like that. So, as you can see, I have $8,000 in additional picked up money. That's pretty freaking awesome. Now, this is where I'm going to tell you about the catch. In order to do it like this, the get the 8000 for yourself, you gotta do it by yourself, or at least, you know, ag agree with your friends that you're gonna get all the money this time. Because it's, the packets only spawn once; they don't spawn for every player. Which is, which is fair, you know, first come, first serve. But still, some would call that unfair. So yeah, just get into this helicopter and. Just they typically won't kill you, or they won't nearly kill you, because they're facing the opposite way. What do you want to do straight away? Don't destroy the crew vehicles, no real point. Uh, unless you have a helicopter, then, you know, fire away and destroy everything. From the start, destroy this plane before you destroy the crew vehicles. Once the crew vehicles are destroyed, that plane takes off. It is a mother trucker to catch up to. Let's put it like that. I know somebody's gonna give out to me for stealing that, but whatever. I said it. So I just shoot all these planes and cars and security vans. Uh, to your heart's content, really. You've nothing really stopping you at this point. So once that's done, I think I I just kind of farm these guys for a second, even though I'm at 220, so I don't need the XP, but. I feel like I must have it. Yeah, so here, in quick interaction menu, always be ready to activate that, and always be ready to have food on you so you can eat. 
I didn't really need it at that point, but point at, at the, oh my god, really? <laughs> at other points in the video, I did need it because I was nearly dead when I was trying to snipe your guy, your man in the hangar back there. Or I could have could have used it coming around the corner of the hangar, but that's my bad. So got these fly to my nozzles. And quick tip to get this helicopter to go faster, it's actually to press L2 or the left trigger on the Xbox. So to go down like descend but still pushing forward and then reascend, that sort of speeds you up. You lose you lose height, but you're actually just speeding up as you go. And that's 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 just a good trick. Flicking it around buildings and whatever, you just gotta slow you just gotta sort of slow down and turn at the same time. But anyway that's that's Lost Anto's connection. It's pretty fair on the money and especially with the bonus. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a bit long but I'm sorry. And please leave a like, a comment, sh share, add to your favorites. Do whatever you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.